So let me show you how to create an ebook cover in Canva. So we're going to head over to Canva and what we're going to do is head to the left side of Canva and look for the app section. Click on that and once you do so, you should see the mockups on the left side. If you don't see it there, then just click in the search apps and type in mockups and you can find it there. Click on mockups here and now what we're going to do is in the search bar, we're going to type in the word books and once we do that, what that will allow us to do is to locate ebook mockups that Canva has available to us. What you'll notice is there are going to be several different options for ebook mockups. Some are going to have the pro icon next to it, which simply means you'd have to have a paid subscription in order to use this, and others won't. If you want to do this completely free of charge, then just look for one that does not have the little crown icon next to it. I'm going to select this one, and once I do, it's going to allow me to start working with it. So in order to do so you're going to click on select and then what it's going to ask me for is whether or not I have my image already uploaded or if I need to upload it. Now let me just kind of show you if I wanted to use an image that I created in Canva how I would create an image file. So here's an image that's created as part of an ebook that I've created. In order to turn this into an image, I would simply click on share, I'd go to download, I would make sure PNG is selected, and then I would just select the first page and click done. Then what I would do is click on download, and that's going to simply go through the process of downloading. Once it is downloaded, then what I can do is just drag it over and drop it and you'll see that it is adding it to my uploaded files. So now I can go back to Canva and then what I can do, once I click on select, you'll see it's there. So if I were to click on that, now I can click select. You can also upload right from here but I'm going to go ahead and click on select and you'll notice once I do so, it automatically adds my image file to the mockup. So now what I'm able to do is to work with this mock-up and get it set up the way that I would like. So in order to adjust the image, because if you'll notice, it didn't fully cover the mock-up, I could leave it that way, but I want to actually make some adjustments. So click on adjust image and you'll notice that it actually outlines my image. There are these little circles in the corner, which will allow me to resize my image. So all I have to do is just click and hold and then I can drag it out to resize the image. I can also click and the little hand will, icon will show up allowing me to move my image. So now I'm able to save it and then what I can do is click on save mockup and what that's going to allow me to do is one of two things. I can either use it in a design right from here or I can download it. So I'm going to click on download. And once I click on download, you'll see it has actually created that file here. And here is my image file. One thing I will point out to you is you'll notice that once it downloaded my image, it did lighten the colors up a little bit. That's just something that I've noticed as I've created other ebook mockups. So if you find that is the case, what you may want to do is just select a darker color in preparation for the fact that it's going to lighten it. Now, if you're interested in selling your ebook and you want to learn the process of doing so, uh, specifically setting up a sales page, collecting the money, and then finally delivering the final product, you'll want to check out this video here where I walk you through that entire process. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.